Hi, this is Maz with Tiena Dana. In this short uh, video clip, I'm going to show you and demonstrate how to create interface between two solid segments with common face uh, in a kind of uh, neighboring uh, mesh set. So to avoid any uh, other, say, uh, split nodes, uh, other side of the elements, so we're going to use uh, a technique to create and specify uh, interface at a certain location which will be between the blue mesh set and the green one. The yellow one has a uh, common face between the green and blue and we can basically proceed with the rest of the case in terms of introducing uh, interface uh, as this tutorial. So the best way first is to move the green mesh set a little bit towards the uh, any direction, either green or blue. So we're going to kind of virtually move this mesh set apart of each other. So I select the green one, I specify two uh, node vector, we select two arbitrary nodes. Okay. Here it is very important, check off the merge nodes. Why check off? Because if any movement the new position of the nodes with respect to the neighboring elements and neighboring mesh set are within this tolerance program automatically going to merge them. So check this off per view and click OK. So basically what's happening, we virtually move this green mesh set to the left. The next procedure is to extract uh, 3D elements from the boundary elements or say the uh, element faces. So to that end I'm gonna show the blue and green mesh set only. Change my view to front. You go to mesh, protrude, extrude. Change your tab to element face. Select all these common faces and two-point vector from point A to point B. We extrude in one segment. When I click here, that means program then automatically calculates the distance. So here again, we go with the same arbitrary uh, value for the property and we have our solid element there. So the next step is to convert this solid mesh set, the uh, pink one, to the interface. To this end, we go to create interface. We specify a property. Now I'm going to specify one uh, dummy interface property. It is 2D because we are dealing with 3D model, solid model. Um, just one arbitrary, for instance, linear interface with dummy values. This is just for illustration purpose, but if you want to deal, you can uh, input your uh, actual values. Then here it says, what's the first tangent of your interface? So I say my first tangent is along Z, so I only put one here as a flag there. Click OK. OK. And here the method is going to be changed to uh, convert element. So convert element, change your filter to mesh set select the pink one, select the base node. To select the base node, basically that means uh, these mesh set uh, it generates from which direction to another direction. You change your view to top and basically I'm going to simply select these nodes at this end. But when you select that one, you see there are a series of nodes are selected beneath. We're going to kind of cancel them out. Change your selection option, option to unselect. Select these guys they all gone. Only the common nodes uh, here has been selected. Click OK and here we go. The interface has been generated between these two segments. So the next step is to move this green mesh set back to its position without merging. So I'm gonna go to trans uh, transform or translate the mesh set this time we deal with nodes. Why nodes? Because we're going to move all the nodes, including the nodes which are common with my uh, interface. So I'm going to select all these guys. 
the same procedure as we had before. Two vector from A to B. Check the distance. And once again here, merge node off. Why merge node off? If you move it exactly to the same position, all these nodes which are located in the same tolerance will be merged. So that's basically you eliminate the interface anyway. But we don't want to do it like that. So we move it and show all. And if I hide all my mesh sets and check the free face, you see here This is the part that is interface acting between the right one and the left block. You can see it's a solid color in spite of the inner part, which is a common joint. So this is your interface. And the rest of the elements are intact. Hope this tutorial helps you to deal with complex models and uh, say it, uh, easily generate the interface step by step throughout your model. Thank you.